Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 89 of FTB Interactions, where today we're off to a new place. That's right, we're heading to the Dark Star of Aurelia. So let's place our character all the way up. Do what now? That's weird. How come I'm not getting the black background thingy that usually happens here? Oh, that's the wrong planet. Where it's hard to see the stars without the black background. That was weird. Where are they again? I feel like it was in this general direction. Where? Pray tell is the other star. This is a bad start to whatever we're doing. That's it. Alright, we can do this. I believe in me. How come I can't travel there? I can travel to the moon, no problem. This is a bad start to whatever it is we're doing here, guys. <laughs> I don't know why this is being all funky, but it's definitely being funky. This is weird. I might need to admin command teleport to this thing. Oh, there we go. Hold on. It worked. Sweet. Hey, we made it. Woohoo. Nice. All right. That was a close one. That was a close one. All right. So how are we doing on uh, fuel? Looks like we have plenty of dilithium crystals. So that's cool. So now let's remember we put this dude in here, right? Aurelia artifact. And now we can select planet. It will go up a level. Now, isn't Aurelia around the dark star? Zol? Aurelia. Hey, there it is. Nice. Can we select that as our destination? Destination Aurelia. Sound cool? Fuel cost 500, current fuel 1000. We should be good. Let's warp. Boom. Nice. Dude, seriously, love the whole changing skybox thing. Like that is just clutch right there. Really, really nice looking effect. But it's more than just like a changing skybox because there's definitely like particles flying in that direction as well that give you the impression of flying through space. Super cool. Super cool. Um, so we're heading to Aurelia. How's this thing on fuel? Uh, actually, really bad. Actually, really bad. So before anything, I think we should go get some fuel and be ready to fuel him because that is not a good fuel situation to be in. Uh, I feel like I feel like there was some fuel laying around somewhere, probably back at my base. But I'm not super confident about teleporting back to my base while we're in warp. So how about we wait for the space station to arrive? at Aurelia, and then we will teleport back to our base, get rocket fuel, come back, and fill this thing up. Sound like a plan? I got some buckets ready. I think we'll be good. Um, not too bad. I'm very interested to see this, like, star that we're going to be orbiting to, because I know Aurelia, if you looked on the, on the map there, Aurelia was really close to its star, which is like a dark star, so I feel like that's going to be interesting. I bet there's some uh, pretty serious gravity going on there, which doesn't matter too much for me because I have flight, but still, going to be interested to see what happens. Um, totally excited to check out this planet because I have no idea what to expect. Traveling through space. Let's go. Man, warp drive's really slow, isn't it? I'm just kidding. It's space. I could, I could enjoy this for a while. But we'll come back once we arrive. Whoa, check this out. Oh man, that is awesome. Look at that. That is hyper trippy right there. So I think this is the planet underneath us. And that is the star. Um, wow, that is super cool. That is very black holy. That is super black holy. I've yet to see something like this in advanced rocketry. And that is really cool. Like, super hyper cool. Right though? That's nuts. That's nuts. All right, so let's, um, yeah, you're gonna be fuzzy, aren't you? No, that's the wrong place to go. I don't know why it's not doing the blackout thing. But that makes it really hard. I might just log out of the game and log back in. Yeah, that looks like it. That's where I wanna be. Woot. Traveling works. All right, where's my rocket fuel? Uh, it used to be in a tank somewhere. I told you guys to remind me what I did with it. 
tank of rocket fuel. Yay! All right, and now back to our space station. All right, so here we are. Boop, boop. And that's, oh wow, we need a lot more fuel than that, don't we? How's that feeling? Pretty good? One more maybe? One more bucket's worth of fuel wouldn't be terrible? Yeah, that feels pretty good. So destination is Aurelia, unknown coordinates. You know what else I should do before I launch over there? That would be really smart for me to do. Get a Celestial Gateway. Yeah, well, I, well, I almost launched to the planet and I'm like, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. All right, Celestial Gateway. Ha ha ha. I'm going to get all the stuff I need for that. I'll be right back. All right. Should be good with marble now. So I've got the Celestial Gateway. Did I get a quest reward for that? Because I had an extra one laying around and I didn't have to make it. So I'm happy. Uh, four engraved, four runed. I don't need these chiseled no more. I needed those to make the runed. So I think that should be cool. Super annoying, this recipe. Super annoying. Just saying. Just saying that recipe's annoying. Well, at least I'll be able to see where I'm going now. Ish. Was this it? I think this was it. This is my space station, right? Hooray! Man, that is so cool. I will never I will never get over how cool that looks. I will never get over how cool that looks. All right, so we've got all the resources we need for this. Just double checking. Celestial Gateway, 20 marble arch, 25 sooty marble. Uh, four ruined and four engraved. So now we'll have a way to bet back and forth. Uh, let's launch it, shall we? We've got uh, some extra rocket fuel. Yeah, I think bringing some extra rocket fuel wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, so let's launch. Boom. T minus nine seconds until launching to Aurelia. Four, three, two, one. I'm all for it. All right. Uh, I will come back in a minute once we get close to landing on the planet. Oh man, check out this planet, huh? How cool does this look? Just waiting for it to load in around me, but dude, that's cool. All right, it was cool. I guess it's, I guess it's nighttime. We're gonna descend though onto the planet. That's the planet below us, right? Uh, so it was cool for like a minute <laughs> and then it was suddenly it was nighttime. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Uh, the planet looked really neat, though. I'm guessing. I'm guessing what it is is nighttime. Cause look, like the 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 star. Oh look, hey look, is it is it because we're landing or what? It might be. I don't know. I can't tell. But the star was like below the world, so I think that means it was nighttime, and it's, we're probably gonna see yeah sunrise on this planet. Wow, how short are the days on this planet? Cause it looks like it's rising pretty quickly, unless I'm crazy. But we'll see. It might also just be a, a artifact of the fact that I'm like descending supposedly descending if you look at my y level under my map there it's still at a thousand which concerns me but i think that's just like a bug right um i'll just have to reload the game probably that's usually what happens but i'll wait until i quote unquote land uh based on the altitude meter on the left but man that is that is something cool looking ain't it uh, we will see what the planet looks like when we actually land all right cool so let me relog. Oh, look at this planet, huh? This wow, look at that. That is nutso looking. That is super cool. What do we got over here? Is this liquid nightmares or is it something else? It is molten obsidian of all things. Okie dokie then. I'm just putting that back. Ah, uh, that's neat though. Wow, it is it is nighttime already. Wow. The day night cycle on this planet is really fast. It is really fast. I'm glad I brought Sigils of the Blood Lamp with me. That reminds me, I should try jumping. Yeah, look, when I jump, look uh look how hard it is to jump. I mean, yay for creative flight, right? But like it's uh it's very much a thing. Super cool. I love this planet. Oh boy, there's monsters on this planet. That's not good. That's not good. Nobody, I didn't sign up for that. I did not sign up for that, my good sir. Look, it's already daytime again. <laughs> that is a really short day-night cycle. Holy cow. Let's build our, uh, 
our situation here is uh, this and this and this. Keeping an eye out for creepers, that's the last thing I need is a creeper to sneak up on me, right? And ruined goes on the bottom layer. And chiseled goes on the top layer. And you. And then for some reason the skyboxing is still being weird, but that's okay. I'm just going to travel to any star which should activate this. What is that purple structure in the background? I do not know. But traveling to any one of these stars should... Nice. Register the Dark Star of Aurelia in the Astral Network. I don't know if that's technically necessary, but it doesn't sound like a terrible idea, right? Now, wherefore might that star be? We're just going to have to figure out which one of these is uh, the new one. So relogging didn't fix that, by the way. That looks like it. That is definitely it. Oh my goodness, it's nighttime again. <laughs> well, let's get our let's get our let's get our thing here back. So I'm gonna go back to the space station because we don't want a creeper to blow up our rocket, right? I think that would be pretty terrible. So let's blast off back to the space station. We can now travel here by astral network. So we'll come back once that's done. And boy, I'm uh, I'm very interested in this day night cycle. It is very, very, like, what is it, like a minute long? All right, who's ready to check out this new planet, huh? Uh, so the, the, the destination was here-ish. Man, does it get dark out at night? Uh, I want to see daytime because I wanted to check out that purple thing. Boo for monsters, though. I should really look at, like, maybe setting up a astral ritual or something to prevent mob spawns. I feel like that would probably be a goodish idea. Hey, look, constellations are here, though. That's cool. The constellations are here, so that's neat. All right, so sun should be coming up. There's, wow, look at this stuff. What is all this? All right. So there's a lot of this vitrified sand, which, as we recall is pretty cool we wanted some of that i remember i remember that was a thing that we cared about snow huh and what is here basalt so what are these things violet crystal blocks from astral sorcery neat well that's a quest i mean i don't mind just getting a couple stacks of them oh there's lots of colors of crystal blocks here look at this Lots and lots of colors. Red crystal. All right, which uh, which chapter is this in that I'm getting this? Quest completed. Red red crystal. It's not in Lafin. Whatever chapter this is in, I'm not seeing actual completion. Oh my goodness, it's nighttime again. Boy, is it, it is a dark nighttime. Orange crystal. I don't know what any of these crystals are for, right? Uh, can I find them in the book? Because it says there's a quest for them, but I'm not seeing even a quest book. I mean, pulverizing them gets you stuff, so that's cool. Get you the actually edition stuff. So that's, I mean, that's not terrible. That's kind of neat. That is a lot of bad guys. What do we got here? Blue crystal? Did I get that one already? I forget. Nope. <laughs> nope. By virtue of the fact... Ah, I missed. Red crystal, though, I think I got, right? Yes. Man, this planet is cool beans. What is that over there? That might be that might be some kind of dungeon structure, but I want to get these green crystals first. Yay for being able to vein mine them though, am I right? Alright, let's put away all these crystals and the vitrified sand, which we can always come back and get lots of, so I'm not I'm not stressing that. 
Is this all molten obsidian? I'm gonna assume that it is. But I wanna see this thing right here, because this looks like it has doors in it. This looks like it has doors in it. I'm going to call this red matter blocks from Project E. Excuse me? Excuse me? Did you say red matter blocks? Oh my. Oh my. That's interesting. I mean, I, I imagine I need a red matter pickaxe to break these, but that's a thing, right? How cool is that? All right, so there's definitely a dungeon in here, which is exciting. So there is definitely dungeons on this planet, because, I mean, I assume that's what this is, right? This has to be a dungeon. Yes? Yes? Must be dungeon? No idea what I'm in for, so I want to make sure this is available. Do you have regular arrows going on here? No, we just have the stipium sty sty and arrows. Oh my goodness, no. Oh my goodness, no. I'm already terrified. I hate those cats so much. Ah! Whatever that was, I just killed it with an arrow. What is that noise? I don't like that noise. Bastard. Boy, this is a this is a place, isn't it? Can anybody follow what's going on here at the moment? Because I can't. I have no idea. I'm just shooting arrows aimlessly and hoping to break all the spawners that are in this immediate area. I need to get something that like removes fire. Feeling a little better about this. I want to. I want to see what's in these loots, but you know, I gotta clear some stuff out first, right? A little bit of safety feels like a good idea to me. All right, I feel a little safer. That was that was a thing, but yay for my OP armor, right? All right. Inventory, how you doing? Ooh, steel reinforced bow, blue sh mushroomy thing. I shouldn't put away the buckets. Oh good, it hadn't stolen them yet. Basalt's rods. I don't think I need you. And you can go away. And frankly, I don't need you or my chisel. Everything else I kind of want. I don't need my lysic of Batania. Probably don't need my rocket fuel. Probably don't need my astral wands or the wand of the forest. Everything else I will hang on to. Okay, how do we make out? Common treasure, blah, blah, blah. nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. Nothing I hate more than underwhelming loots, let me tell you. This, by the way, is basalt, weathered bricks form. Arrows of levitation, nothing particularly exciting thus yet. <laughs> nothing particularly exciting just yet. Stellar alloy ingots. I mean, not... I wouldn't call that exciting, but it's it's a thing nonetheless. Mm, advanced item collector, not terrible. Zesty zucchini, not eaten recently. 
cutting wire from open computers, elixir of the blazer trail, a couple preserved knowledges ain't bad, but I'm like yet to be blown away by any of these loots. Yet to be blown away, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's do a little exploring through here and see what we can't find. So dark glass from extra utilities, that's kind of cool. Ah, what just happened to me? No, whatever that was, no. That was creepy sounding. Hey, a dislocator. Whatever that was, it was creepy sounding. Bit of food, some kind of dungeony thing, which is all well and good. What do we got up here? Nakoda ore. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you do not jump high. Because this is like with jump boost. I can't even jump. It's actually pretty crazy. Thank you, Vein Miner, for working. I feel like Nakwood is like really good stuff, right? Isn't that like super good for things? Like power generation? Ghost. Somebody whispering ghost or is it just me? I feel like I'm hearing somebody say ghost. That's enough. All right, stop saying ghost. I know there's ghosts. Oh, a ghost spawner, huh? That's cool. Yeah, it's totally Blitz is doing that. Yay, Blitz Rod. I saw him. I saw him. Okay, yeah, not terrible. Dragon scale boots, huh? Smite and power four. Hey, a flux infused sword. That's kind of cool. There's the spawner. The spawners are sneaky, huh? Uranium-235 ingots. Yes, cats, I hear you. Lots of Nakwita down here. I'll need to note that if I ever need more than the several stacks I just found. Meh. Oh, you guys are not friendly. Ender Fighter, by the way, is what they're called. And boy, do they hurt. But you can hit them. You can hit them with arrows, though. Pro tip. They look like Endermen, but they can be hit with arrows. Clear the spawners first. Nice. And also throw lights around so that the map looks lit up so that you get, you know, some... beans. Hey, sanitizing soap. Hey, this is something that literally everybody on YouTube keeps telling me to get, an atomic disassembler. Found the spawner. Oh, 
smokers are the ones that drop that, like, you don't die thing, right? Yeah, there it is. Totem of Undying. Booyah. That's why I was making sure to kill them with my, uh, stuff there. More for curiosity, not too bad. Alright. Cool. All right, any good loot wise in here? Nothing terribly exciting yet. Ooh, an Endist Pearl from Avaricia. That, I think, is probably pretty hard to get. Eh, ish. Routing node from Blood Magic. Chocolate cake. I mean, I can't not take cake. Processor assembly, sure, why not? So not nothing yet that makes me go like, ooh. But I got an atomic disassembler there. Everybody happy? Everybody happy on the YouTubes? I got an atomic disassembler. Hover boots from open computers, huh? Interesting. I'll snag them, why not? Doesn't hurt. Oh my, look at all these loots. This is a good chest. Uh, I'll take the Will's Rainbow Cannon. Fires a randomly colored beam from Cyclic. Hey, an exchanging gadget. Yay. Phoenix down. Resurrects you once with full health and reverts to an angelic feather. Nice. Crimson Rights book. ZPM diesel fuel generator machine blueprint. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I'll just grab it all why not. ZPM blueprint, huh? That's cool. McKay would be very happy. Uh, efficiency rune. Sure. Hydra arrow. Poisons and leeches from the target? That's cool. Neat. Okay. What do we got over here? It's like a normal zombie spawner. Meh. I mean, it's a thing in Minecraft, regardless of how many diamonds you have. You need to take, you know, diamonds. Now is this... Oh, Uranium-235, huh? Cool. And Thorium. Neat. Uranium-235 and 238, as a matter of fact. That's good to know that that's up here on this planet. It's pretty spiffy. All right, so that is that everything in the dungeon, or is there more dungeony stuff to find? I want to make sure that like the area is well lit on the map, so I can at least get some semblance of where I've been. So this looks pretty cool. actually heal myself for a change. I mean, a big part of the problem, obviously, is that there's no natural regeneration, so as little damage as I actually take from these dudes, every now and then you gotta do something, right? Hmm, our cream pedestals, infinity drills, chest upgrades. Again, nothing terribly shrinking trinket. Potion shrinking. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. And neutronium. All right, that's, that's exciting. Kind of neat. Shrinks the player down to 50% their height. That's cool. I mean, we gotta try that, right? It's a bauble, apparently. Haha! <laughs> that is awesome! What mod adds that? Resizing potion. Is that literally the name of the mod? That is cool. That is cool. Is resizing potion? Yeah, look at that. There's all kinds of versions of it. That is cool. 
And there's a growth trinket too. Grows player up to 150% of their height. Neat. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh my, that is a lot of this. Even drop anything too. That's the worst part. They don't even drop anything. Oh my. Step one, clear spawners. Step two, deal with all mobs that respawn. Pretty clear at this point, then. Nice. A few more things to take down, but I think that's most of it. A little bit of lighting to help out, just in case there's any remaining. I like that I have headbands on, though. That's hilarious. Wow, I didn't one-shot him. I'm almost... I almost expected at this point. Alright, anything good around? Eh, that might have been something. Titanium? Rock crystal ore? Sure. That was apparently a quest at some point. Alright, what I'm gonna do is... Go through these chests real quick just to see if there's anything else of, of, of serious value here. And we'll come back. All right, I think that's a good <coughs> wrapping up point for the episode. So let's wrap it up here. I don't see anything else particularly exciting at the moment, but I'll... Fire ducks. That's cool. Hey. Still obviously a few mobs. What I'm going to do is probably just spend a few more minutes, um, you know, running around, making sure there's nothing else good. Um, and if I do find anything cool, I will let you know that. How does that sound? But at this point, it's just a little bit more of the same, right? Running around dungeon, killing ridiculous mobs. I haven't found anything that looks like a boss room, per se. Uh, that doesn't mean there isn't one. Because I haven't found it yet. So, it would be cool if there was one. Definitely need to remove more of these spawners. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just murderize more of these mobs, and we'll come back next episode, and I'll let you know if I find anything of interest. But for now, Donald 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, let's see. Anything is Meh. Nothing of consequence. I was hoping that might be some kind of boss room chest. I mean, this room definitely has like a boss room kind of feel to it. But I don't know. Alright, that was my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.